David Bogue and Company, New York City. Is it a knitting mill? No, what they're winding here is not yarn, but fine copper wire coils. The transformers essential to the manufacture of sound equipment. The coils are wound on a stick, as many as 20 at a time. This is one of the first steps in the making of public address systems, high fidelity radios, and the other electronic devices in which the firm specializes. When a stick of transformers has the necessary number of turns, the individual units can be cut apart with a bandsaw. A plant like this uses thousands of yards of wire of all types and sizes. Here's a machine that automatically cuts it to any desired length and trims the insulation from each end so it's all ready to be hooked up. A complex wiring layout is prefabricated by workers who follow colored lines running here and there between the nails. The result is a complex harness that leaves each wire end at just the right spot to be connected. On the main assembly line, the various components are mounted in the chassis. The equipment looks like the most confusing jumble imaginable, but each worker knows exactly where in the maze of wires to make a connection or solder a joint. What they're making here is the amplifier for a public address system of a kind very frequently used in schools. There's only one way to make sure all the wires, tubes, and other electronic parts will work, and that's by testing them on a setup designed and built right here in the plant. The amplifier then is added to a console already fitted out with radio receiver, phonograph, and other accessories that allow it to be used for everything from the broadcasting of music during lunch hour to emergency announcements and fire drills. Now with the unit all together, there's a performance test. A microphone is plugged in and the technician watches the reaction on meters as he talks into it. company with 25 years experience at making public address systems for offices, hospitals, and naval vessels, now finds a wide new market in the nation's schools, like this elementary school in Ridgewood, New Jersey, whose functions are more effectively carried out when the principal can pick up a mic and, by throwing the right switches, make necessary announcements to one classroom, half a dozen, or the entire school. In this, as in so many of our newer schools, modern methods of education have been extended to include modern methods of communication. Methods as up-to-date as those manifested in the school building's architecture.